Hi everybody, this is Darren with the Monday message for Monday, June 15th, 2020. I want to start out by thanking everybody for a fantastic TV pledge drive. The drive ran from May 29th to June 14th. This year we raised a total of $91,600. Now that compares to last year where we raised $98,600. So there's a $7,000 difference, but I just want to say that is remarkable considering everything that we're dealing with during this time. I mean, during these past couple weeks um, dealing with COVID, um, with uh, racially motivated police brutality, um, political coverage, there is always something to compete with us on the airwaves and to do that well has just been uh, remarkable and I want to thank um, Karen for putting together a fantastic pledge schedule and, and keeping up with how shows are doing and making sure we repeat those more and also to James and Vanessa for getting back with viewers and, and fulfilling gifts and there's a lot more work to do there coming up. Now I want to talk about um, coronavirus issues and the office so numbers continue to climb and although the experts say that the the measures taken between March and May really helped to kind of squash, you know, things getting completely out of control and rates of infection and death are lower than they otherwise would have been. Um, but we are still climbing. We're not falling in infection rates. So I think we all have worries about what that means for the workplace. So if you have any doubt that NorCal's work from home policies and practices are, are going to be changing here in the near future, that is not the case. We're going to continue on the path we're on now. Now also a few exceptions have been made for a couple of folks who have not yet been in the office who are actually going to be coming into the office for short periods of time to work on some important upcoming fundraising and engineering projects. <clears throat> so it's very important for you folks who are going to be involved in that to work closely with your managers on making sure that you come in when you can be alone, right? And that you're working in areas that nobody else is working in um, so that we can easily manage this through communication. So make sure you talk to your managers, we set schedules, and we all adhere to them because it's all about safety. We don't want anyone to risk infection. Also, um, review your abilities to work from home. If you have technology or a connectivity issue at home that's keeping you from doing work that you feel you need to do in the office, let's get those addressed um, through Katira and Fred. We can make sure that the technology is in place so that you can do things from home and you don't have to come into the office as, as much as you may think that you need to do. So I want everybody to review that. This is all for everyone's safety and I don't want anyone to take unnecessary risks. Um, in order to come into the office. So please keep that in mind and explore all the options that are available to you. Um, news coverage. Now that we've suspended the weekly live town hall program, we're switching over to short form news coverage, um, much of which of course we've always done in the past on radio, but we're also gonna be launching some short TV pieces and these will be under the banner of Connect the Bay. So the news department and the production team um, have been thinking about this and working on plans for the past couple of weeks to get more stories onto the TV airwaves. So in the meantime, we've launched a PSA campaign from various Bay Area towns and communities to address COVID-19 safety. And these are also under the Connect the Bay banner. So here's a look at one of 15 spots that have been produced so far by our South Bay producer, Rick Bacigalupi. Um, these are produced through Zoom, teleconferencing, and through phone video, um, anything that we can work out to get in touch with these officials. Um, we've had towns from San Mateo City, San Mateo County, San Jose, Santa Clara County, Belmont, Foster City, and more are coming in all the time. It's a great campaign, so take a look at this video. I want to remind folks that staying home is the only way to stop the coronavirus. We need to continue to take this seriously. We're in unprecedented times, and I'm really proud of how our community and our organization has stepped up to take care of one another. Let's continue to look out for our loved ones by staying home and only going outside for food or health reasons or essential work. Si sales, mantente a seis pies distante de otras personas. Cuando llegue a casa, lávese sus manos por 20 segundos.
nếu mà phải tiếp xúc với nhau thì phải cách nhau ít nhất là 2 mét à, rửa tay thì phải thường xuyên trong ngày mỗi lần là 20 giây với xà phòng Thank you for doing your part to stop the spread of the coronavirus and protect all of our vulnerable. Finally, I want to update everyone on some radio updates. Work is getting rolling on some important radio technology issues. Um, number one, work is progressing on the 91.1 site on Lower Geyser Peak. So as we know, the cleanup has been done. It's all been approved by the county. Um, we're looking at enclosures for the transmitter and the equipment up there. And also, um, and this is the key, working with PG&E and AT&T to get the lines run again um, back up to the site. Um, number two, we're talking about studio upgrades, right, which we plan to do this fiscal year. And that has been put sorely behind because of COVID and contractors not being available and work from home. But things are now beginning to happen. So um, we're talking about work continuing throughout the summer and installation work on the new Wheatstone board as well as iMedia upgrades. Um, we've already transitioned the server. We're looking at um, a review of computers and upgrading those. So there's a lot going on with the um, studio upgrade and a lot that still needs to be done in that process. Um, while all of these activities continue, the distribution committee of the board of directors continues their work to explore ways that we can increase our broadcast signal to reach more people throughout the North Bay. So I think that it's safe to say that this last half of 2020 is all about radio and there's a lot of work to do on behalf of our listeners and our members. So thanks everybody for hanging in there and for making this all happen. So, I want to just say stay safe, stay strong, work together, and I'll talk to you soon.